don't don't let your whiteness matter at all. You just speak the truth because God is not about color at all. And those who are seeking the truth will find that truth. Folks, check out this interview I just did with Jesse Peterson, the Reverend. You see him on Fox News all the time. Great American patriot. I, Douglas Ducote, an American patriot by the grace of God, do solemnly swear to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America from enemies foreign and especially domestic. Hey folks, Douglas Dakota here. We are back stage with the Reverend Jesse Peterson. What an American hero. I love you. You do wonderful work. Amazing. Your your new book is out, The Antidote. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about this book. Well, in The Antidote, I write about uh, what the real problem is, not only in the black community, but in the world at large. And what it is, is the destruction of the family. Uh, uh, if you don't have a father and mother who love what's right with all their heart, soul, and might, and be a good example for the children, then when they go out into the world, the world would take over. And that's what's happening right now. And I give examples of that. I wrote about the fallen Messiah. And uh, you know who the fallen Messiah is? Tell us. Obama. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I call Obama the fallen Messiah because Obama did not have a father, right? He only had his mother. His mother hated her race. She was white, but she hated her race. She hated men. And so Obama grew up the same way. I write about Jesse Jackson. He did not have a father. Uh, um, Al Sharpton and all those, uh, Muhammad Ali, all of them did not have fathers. And as a result, they grew up angry. And they blamed that anger on white people and other people rather than forgiving their parents so that they could return to God and operate from perfect love. And so that we don't uh, rebuild that order of God, of God and Christ, Christ and man, man over woman and woman over children, things are only going to get worse. They're not going to get better. That's why God said we must be born again. And black people are suffering not because of racism, but due to the destruction of the family and the lack of moral character. They have hatred in their hearts. You know, the, the fact that you say that, I've been preaching that for a long time now. Yeah. And it's difficult to get my audience sometimes, uh, and not all my supporters, <laughs> but some of my audience, uh, because it's coming from a white male. And, uh, and, I try, and I give him examples, you know, uh, some of my black friends that share stories with me about what's happening and the destruction of, and it's, it's, uh, our, it's white families too, yeah, you know, that have the problems. All and, and I've noticed that when, when people grow up in those type situations, typically it's in uh, either rural America or in parts of America that are falling apart. Right. And then drugs get involved, yeah. and uh, the, the the parents split up. They go separate ways. Absolutely, out of wedlock, birth, and all kind of stuff start to happen. Exactly. But I do want to say to you, don't 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 let your whiteness matter at all. You just speak the truth, because God is not about color at all. And those who are seeking the truth will find that truth. But if you consider your color, they're not because a whole lot of folks don't like what I say. But then there are those few who are looking for the truth. And they hear and awaken them on the inside, right? And it doesn't matter about the color. So you just tell the truth, be a good example, and don't worry about the color thing. Don't even let Satan tell you, oh, they're not going to hear from me because I'm white. I mean, Jesus was a Jew or something, right? And we all, other races heard from him. And so I didn't, true. right? Yeah. So don't worry about the color. You just tell the truth. Excellent. Great point. Great point. Uh, how's, how, how have you been enjoying this day? Is it? It's been it's been amazing. Yeah. This is the first time that they had Politicon, held Politicon in Tennessee, mm -hmm. or oh, outside of California, as far well as I know. Right, right. Norm, and I live in California, so Norman is right there at home. But it's really nice to be here in uh, Nashville, Tennessee, right? Yes. I've been here several times. I have some friends here now, but I like coming here, so it's really nice being here. I like Excellent. the weather here, too, today. Hey, yeah, it's a lot better than it was yesterday. We drove up from Louisiana in a tropical storm that followed us all oh, the okay. way here. <laughs> Amazing. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. All right. uh, is there anything in closing you would like to tell directly to, uh, well, my videos are at about 17 million views right now. Amazing. Anything you would like to share uh, with American conservatives, Republicans, or even Democrats for that matter, about the future of America and uh, and how we are becoming great and, and where you see us heading in, as we go down the road. 
Well, one thing I know for sure is that things are not going to get better until we restore God's order first. And that order is God in Christ, Christ in man, man over woman, and woman over children. Only that's going to work. We got to love one another. We got to know worry about the color and all, where you come from or anything. We got to love one another. And when you bring back that order, then everything will get better. We are getting better in a physical sense in that President Trump. I call him the great white hope, the great white hope. Uh, he's doing really well in spite of the Democrats and others trying to stop him. But if we were to wake up and vote in the right people and vote out the wrong one, then because the government is supposed to work for us, not we working for them. And now we're working for the government. Exactly. And that's why they hate the president so, so much. They're, he's exposing them, right? So we got to rebuild that family and become good examples for the children so that they can see the right way to go. And I want people to check me out at jlptalk.com, jlptalk.com. I also have an online TV show called The Fallen State, F-A-L-L-N, thefallenstate.com. I mean, I'm sorry, dot .tv, dot .tv, so check that out as well. I appreciate you having me on, man. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Uh, it's an honor meeting you. Thank you. And keep doing what you do which is helping bring America together. Absolutely. It's very much appreciated, One thing sir. I just want to add, sure. I have proven that there's no such thing as racism, sexism, homophobiaism, dead be dad ism no, uh, no Islamophobiaism, no ism. It's a spiritual battle. It's either right or wrong, good or evil. It's not a physical problem. It's a spiritual problem. And we need to wake up and realize that. Amen. Amazing. Thank you, Reverend. Amazing. Thank you, man. <laughs> I All right. Hello, American patrons. Douglas Dakota here. The Second Amendment, it's not for hunting. It's for protecting ourselves against our government. Well, the last thing you need to worry about is your weapon being rusted and not working. Folks, here's your product. FirearmGuard.com. Use promo code Doug for free shipping. This will protect your weapon from any rust and mildew issues.